Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, part number five of our uh, React Native tutorial where we build a podcast app. In this one, it's going to be a pretty simple one. Um, so we're going to just install a React Native Vector Icon. So React Native Vector Icon, it's a library who give you access to a, a bunch of icons, like they say 3,000 uh, icons and more. Um, and it's just because I'm not a designer, I'm going to provide you a PNG and stuff like that. So why not using this one? Plus, we're going to learn how to install a native library. So the goal is to add icon for each of the tab here, add an icon here in the search. So the uh, kind of glasses. Plus, we also want to have an icon when, example, we search something, we want to replace the play to be uh, the play button. So the way it's gonna work it's the first thing you're gonna see it's pretty simple okay the first thing is you need to install react native vector icon like that and after that after it's installed for ios you run npx pod install so they're gonna install our uh with coco pod and they're gonna add the pods to uh, our project so you see in setting error and vector icon for Android the only thing you need to do it's take this uh, line and go to your Android uh, Android app build gradle so if you go to project you click on Android app build gradle and for me I put that uh, as you can see like they say uh, you can just put that uh, wherever you want so I put that right there after that, uh, to make it work in iOS, also the thing I like to do, it's first thing I want to make sure that the app is running. So first thing I rerun NPX React Native run iOS. Now they're gonna just kind of like bundle all the native library and everything. So we're gonna make sure that uh, nothing is breaking before we go further. And as you can see, here, I just create a branch called part five. It's because of the part five, but each time I install a native library in React Native, you create, a, I create always a new branch. The reason why it's first, it's much more easier for you to, after that, like kind of reset back to the other one. I know you can just use a commit, something like that, but I just feel like a branch for just a native library, it's better just because as you know, something can go bad and now that break your app and now you're going to debug Xcode and stuff like that for hours and hours. So. so this thing can take a bit of time. But after that, uh, before uh, in the time that's uh, in standing, uh, the one we're going to use is going to be the Feather one. So if you go to this website uh, and the way you can click on that, it's just by clicking on the uh, uh, link they have in their getter. And I'm gonna use Feather. The reason why it's because they have the icon, all the icon I think we need. Like they have a play, they have a pause button, they have a search, they have like an inbox we're gonna use for our library, and yeah, they have almost everything we need. So here the pause and yeah. So I think it's good for us in our case. So now everything it's uh, installing. It take quite. I think almost a minute. Each time you install a Fanatical Native Library, you really need to rerun this thing. So, one sec. After that, it's really quick. It just really the the first. And you're gonna see it's gonna be pretty simple to use. Okay. Okay, perfect, it's done. So now the app continue to work. Perfect, but now we need to tell, uh, <coughs> sorry, we need to tell uh, iOS uh, which icon we're gonna use. Uh, in Android, they bundle everything, but for me in iOS, I just want to know which icon we want to use. So you run, uh, you open iOS, my podcast, that workspace, like that. That's gonna open uh, Xcode. It's pretty simple. You go here, you click on your uh, my podcast, uh, 
in info list. Here at the information property list, you click on plus, you search for fonts, you click enter. So this thing create an array. And for the first item here, you just add feather.ttf. That's it. And now you can rerun npx react native run iOS. Now it's supposed to go quicker because we don't need to install nothing. The only thing we didn't modify is the info place. It's just now we just told uh, React Native which one we're gonna use. And now after that, we want to add the icon. So go to your main tab navigator at the top here. What is happening here? Don't know what is happening here. Okay, I don't know why. So here, we're gonna import feather icon from vector react native. Vec why I don't have the autocomplete. Uh, it's a react native vector icon slash feathers like that. I think I know why you're gonna see in a moment. So now. I want to use the feather icon. So we're gonna start with the search because it's a pretty simple one. So you click on option. Here you can click on tab bar icon. This thing needs to take a function will return a component. So we're gonna take feather icon. And now we're gonna put the name search. So if the installation is good, we are now seeing an icon. So we're gonna just set up all the icon first. So I'm gonna just copy that. For the library, I want to get the inbox. And for the listen now, I'm gonna use the uh, add phone. Okay. After that, here, what I like to do is create a vari uh, constant variable, icon size, and I want 24. So now, what I can do is each place we use for the icon, I'm gonna use size and I'm gonna say icon size. Now, you, as you can see, we don't get any kind of autocomplete. So we didn't install the type. So what you can do to install a type, it's doing like a lot of people are gonna do something like that, like types, etc. But for me, what I like to do is I jump back to my package JSON, and after code gen, I put a comma and I put a post install script. So post install, it's run every time. After you you run your install, after everything it's it's finished finally, you're gonna run this thing, and we're gonna use npx, so we don't need to install the thing. And we're gonna call type sync. So now, if I run yarn, look what's gonna happen. Now you see it already up to date, but now they run npx type sync. So npx type sync, check for each library you have and check if you miss some types. So, so looks like we didn't miss that type of React, ESLIN, Babel Core, Prettier, and the install React Native vector icon. <coughs> but it's not installed yet. You need to rerun yarn. So if you run yarn again, now they're gonna install the type for you. And now every time you're gonna add a library, that's gonna rerun all time uh, every time after that. And now feather icon gonna give us access to the types. So now it's perfect. Now the thing is we have access to the props here of tabbad icon, and this is where we're gonna want to receive the color. So we're gonna do this for each of, of those. And we can just make it like faster. You do props and you came here and you do color, props that color. Now you see they follow the color right there at the bottom because the props color gonna change with the focus. The thing is I don't want those colors. So the way you work with that is to go to your navigator, tab bar uh, option, you take an object and right there, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say active theme color, and I want that to equal to the theme blue light. So that's the theme we use um, uh, everywhere. So I think I'm pretty happy with that. Now we did want to add uh, an icon when we um, want to click play, right there. So for that, I'm gonna just copy this. And I'm really not sure why this one is not the... 
I think I will need to re, uh, reset my TypeScript stuff. I don't know why, but um, so for now, I'm going to go to podcast detail screen. So that's the screen we want to go. So this is this one and I'm going to paste this fella icon stuff. And now this is what we're going to just do a bit of design. It's really, really simple. Don't worry about that. The only thing we need to add, it's where we say um, play last episode right there. I want to add the feather icon. The name is going to be play. So now the play is right there. I want to change its size to be 30. And for the color, I want it to be equal to our brand color. So blue light. Now the thing is, I want to, oh, I want to make that as a row because I want the play to be there like that. I want that to be aligned center. So they're going to be aligned together. After that, what I want is I want to have some margin because right now we don't have and the best way in our case, it's to use the box MR for margin, right? Put 10. So now we have 10 after that here, we're going to uh, remove last episode because I'm going to still use play, but play, I want it to be bold like that. And I want below play to have a text where here in the future is going to be the uh, last episode. So that's going to be the last title. Now the thing is, you see, it's because we use row. Everything is in row because they are all child of this box. If you want them to be at the top of each other, you put them also in a box. And now by doing this, they go like that. And also maybe this one, I'm going to just want to put it like small. Okay, so this thing is good for our case. So that was one of the icon we missed. And the other one is for the search. So we're going to jump back here, re-import the feather icon, go to the search screen, put that at the top. And now what we're going to modify is this text input. I want to have the search icon right there. So the best way to go, it's always start just by putting your stuff. So you say search size, I'm going to go with 20. And uh, for the color, I'm going to go with the team that color that gray dark. And now if I save, this is what happened. So the first thing is happening. It's we design the text input and not the box himself. So it's a mistake for our part. So we're going to fix that. So we're going to wrap everything inside a box. And we're going to put here a deer of row because we want the thing left and right. So you see, it's almost the, the case. So that we want to make sure then it's center. And now I'm going to remove some of the text input design to put that in the box. So you see I 40. So I'm going to put I 40 here. So H 40 for I. After that here, I want the background color to be gray like this. So I'm going to say here BG gray like this. So now I'm going to remove those. So we did add them. I'm going to remove border radius 10 because we're going to add that here. So just say radius 10. Perfect. After that, you see the padding horizontal, it's small. So we're going to do this, go back here at the top and you say PX for uh, left and right, small. And now you have the space. Perfect. Now we do want to have some of the margin here because they touch each other. So you go here, you wrap your feather icon in a box, you say MR10. That's it. And now if we, uh, this thing happens sometimes, uh, you see, now it's a bit better. So now you search, I don't know, full stack radio. And now it looks a bit much, a bit better. Uh, one thing I don't like it. you see, like, I think I like it more like black here. So uh, I think our issue was in the uh, search stack. I don't want the other thing. Uh, I don't want this one. Uh, yeah, so that's the thing. It's you get the. Um, so what you can do, you can say other title style. You put it a color. Example, if you say red, it's red here, but it's not here. 
So now you can just put it to be, I think the color is black. So now it's the same color as the other one. So the tint of the navigator is like that, but the title is like that because here we don't care about the title. That was it. That was that for this uh, video. So in the next one, this is where we're going to fetch the other graphical one endpoint where we're going to get the episode. And the next episode after that is going to be the time where we're going to work on our uh, uh, on the fact to play episode. So that's if you want to listen to one episode in this podcast, I think that's going to be uh, part number seven because that's going to be the place where we're going to play with audio. And I don't think we have a lot of uh, audio uh, tutorial on YouTube. So I think that's going to be pretty nice. We're going to learn a lot. So for this issue, don't worry. I'm going to just reset my TypeScript server in uh, in uh, webstorm uh, that's it also remember it's part five the repo link is going to be in the description uh, click on the like if you learn something or you like the episode and please also you can comment if you have any kind of question so i hope you have a good day bye everyone